الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد مقتصر الرسول بشيخ محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله and today we read the story of um um Ma'bad then they continued on their way and passed by tents of um Ma'bad of the tribe of Banu Khuza she used to invite people who passed by her to sit as she sat across legged at the opening to her tent then she would feed them and give them drink they asked ask her if she had anything which they could buy from her but she said by Allah if you had anything I will not be lacking in spirituality to you but the sheep are giving no milk and it was the year of the drought so the messenger of Allah Salaam looked at the at, at a sheep in the corner of the tent and said ma hadi sha ma ma what is this sheep he said it has been left behind by the other sheep he asked hal biha min laban does it have any milk she said it is too exhausted for that he asked ta'adinani ata danini la ilaha illallah ata'adanina li an ahli ahlibaha will you permit me to milk it she replied yes may may my father and my mother be sacrificed for you if you think there is a milk in her, then milk her. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then touched its uh, others with his hand and said Bismillah in the name of Allah and supplicated, upon which the milk poured abundantly and copiously. Then he called for a vessel for it is sufficient for it, it is sufficient for the group and he milked it until it was full and he gave her to drink and she drank until her dust was quenched and he gave his companions to drink until their dust was quenched. Then he drank himself, then he milked it a second time and, and filled with the vessel. Then he left it with her and they departed. departed. She had not remained for long when her husband arrived driving emancipated, emancipated goods, having hardly any milk in their udders. Uh, when he saw the milk, he said, From where is this when the sheep are dry and there is no animal giving milk in the house? He said, No, by Allah, there was not until a blessed man passed by who, such, who, say, who said such and such. He said, By Allah, I believe he is no, is no other than the man who is being searched for by Quraysh, describing to me on Umu Ba'abad. He said, Describing the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi who passed by her tent on his journey of migration. Umu Ma'abad al Khuzayyah said to her husband, He was innocently bright, bright and had a broad container. His manners were fine, neither was his belly bulging out, nor was he head the bread of hair. He had black, attractive eyes, finely arched by continuous eyebrows. His hair glossy and black and inclined to curl. He wore long, his voice was extremely commanding. His head was large, well formed, and set on a, on a, on a slender neck. His expression was, uh, was pensive and contemplative, serene and sublime. The stranger was fascinated from the distance, but not sooner one became intimate with him than this fascination was ch 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 changed into attachment and respect. His expression was very sweet and distinct. His speech was well set and free from the use of superfluous words, as if it were a string of pearls. His, his stature was neither too high nor too small to look responsible. He was the middle the twig of three, sing singularly bright and fresh. He was always surrounded by his companions whenever he uttered something. The listeners would listen attentively, and, and whenever he issued any command they vied with each other in carrying it out he was a, ma a master and a commander uh, his, his utterances were marked by truth and sincerity free from all kinds of falsehoods and lies may allah the lord of man can reward with the best of rewards the two companions who sat in the ascent of umu Ba'bad, they stayed they stayed with their kindness and they are departed with it and uh, successful is he who becomes muhammad's companion O oh, son of Kusai, Allah has granted you such glory for which we cannot uh, reward you enough and lordship uh, and leadership in, in Mecca. Ask your sister about her, you and her container of milk. For if you were to ask the EU, it will, it, it will testify. He called for an EU which was not giving milk and it gave much milk for him like that of a feeding mother. A prophet sees that which those around him do not see and he recites the book of Allah in every place. And if he says something one day belonging to the knowledge of the unseen, you will see it fulfilled today or tomorrow. He let the people and they lost their minds. And he came to a people with the light of renewal. They allowed them thereby after they had been lost. 
The most gracious of them is who follows the truth and is successful. Let Abu Bakr rejoice at the reward of his efforts for his, for his accompanying the Prophet for, for most ever Allah in the ordains happiness will be happy and let Banu Ka'ab rejoice for the place of their daughter who prepared the place of rest for the believers. Asma radiallahu anhu said we remain for three nights not knowing in which direction the messenger of Allah Sallam was going. Then a man from among the jinn came up from the lower Makkah chanting this verse and the people were following him hearing his voice but uh, not seeing him until he went out from upper Makkah. He said when we were heard what, uh, when we heard what he said we knew in which direction the messenger of Allah Sallam was coming. He said and when Abu Bakr the Lord, left he took him we took with him all of the all of his money and grandmother Abu Abu Qahfa who was blind entered the house and said by Allah I think that he has, he has put you in difficulty by, by taking all of his money with him. I said by Allah he has left us well provided and I took some stones and I placed them in a niche in the house and said place your hand on the money and he placed his hand on the stones and said there is nothing to worry about if he, ha if he, ha if he has left you this he has done well she said by Allah he did not leave us anything but I wanted to set the old man's mind at ease.